This semester, one of the classes I'm teaching is a class in robotics. And so what we're doing is we've actually broken the class up into a couple small pieces. So we are studying the theory of robotics, how robots work, and how we can use robots. And we're also building small robots and learning how to program the robots. The students spend most of their time looking at problems and figuring out how a robot could be used to solve that problem. So they take a complex task and they break it down into small pieces and then they figure out how to program the robot to solve each of those small pieces. So we start working with a big problem, we break it into small pieces, and as you put all the small pieces together, you end up with a solution to a very complex problem. We do very different robots all through the semester. They have different characteristics, they're designed to solve different problems, but they can build them really swiftly. So I've seen other classes and I looked at other classes where you build much more complex robots, but it takes like 10 or 12 weeks to build the robot. So in a 14 week semester, you spend the whole time building the robot. We built the base of this in 45 minutes and we've been adapting it each week as we go through. We have a really interesting mix right now in computer science and this is one of the things that I love about the Randolph Making experience and I love about teaching here. We have students who are majoring in political science and majoring in computer science. I have a double major in history and computer science. I have some straight computer science majors. I have an engineering physics major with a computer science minor. Um, I have a full range of students uh, taking this class. The basics that we're learning about sensors, when you think about it like Google and a self-driving car, the same type of sensors that that self-driving car is using, they're learning how to use here. So even if they don't go on into robotics, there's other fields that are using that remote sensing technology and computer science. So we really feel like this course is a great fit for allowing students to start to learn how to program devices, whether it's a small robot or it's going to be something that does remote sensing. The reason I recommend this class to our students is because it helps with the problem solving skills and it's a very experiential learning class. So as opposed to going and lecture three days a week or some of our classes where we lecture and you do a lab and you do a lot of programming, um, where you're working directly on the computer, here they actually have the robot and so you learn a lot faster when you can actually have that robot that you can see. When I make a change to my program, how does it behave? So I really like the experiential part of this, the fact that the student has um, a much more engaged learning experience.